Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And in this video, we're going to contextually change our layouts. And that's really exciting because we can make a whole bunch of different layouts and apply them in various different ways using context. Now, you need this module for this to work. Uh, and this particular module is Context Omega. So in the past, there have been other Omega solutions for context, uh, such as uh, Delta before in the past. This is a way different approach and it's way more simple. So the module is drupal.org slash project slash context underscore omega. So it's on this uh, context underscore omega, but we can use Drush to install this, so we might as well. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to CD into my directory where we have our project, which is in my sites, and level up, and then Drupal. Okay. Okay, so I'm in the site. Now I can type drush, uh, DL, and then context underscore omega, just like that. Okay, looks like it was downloaded. Now we can say drush n hyphen y context underscore omega. Great. Cool. So we now have this module enabled and uh, it looks like it's requiring C tools. So it's now downloading and installing C tools. Uh, and that's the best part about Drush because otherwise if we were to have done this without Drush, we would have had to go get all of those modules. But now I can type in two commands and it downloads C tools, all of these modules and enables them for us. That's the best part about Drush. Cool. Um, okay, so let's get out of here. And we'll just refresh this modules page to make sure that they're in fact working. Let's go ahead and search for uh, context uh, omega. Okay. And so we have context omega, but actually, do we have context installed? Because we, we're going to need context as well. It looks like we have context. It must have pulled that in there from Drush, but we want the UI installed. Um, and let's do context layouts as well. So we have context omega, context layouts, context UI, and context. Perfect. Um, and if, of course, if you're doing this without Drush, you would need the modules that you saw that, um, of course, you would need to have for context to work in the first place, like C tools and stuff. But of course, you'd be getting those notifications when you tried to install context in the first place. So let's go ahead and add a new context. The thing we want to think about here is that we are using the interior layout for most of the site. In fact, it's only the home page that we're having the home page layout for. So let's go to our settings and let's change our sidebar to be the default layout because this is going to be the layout that's used most often. Now, it's really easy to key off of the front page in Drupal. So we have the front page here. You can see it's getting the sidebar. You can tell just by having the sidebar there at all. Um, and uh, the easy way to do that, so we're going to go to Structure and then Context. And let's add a new context. And the name is just going to be Front and tag it to be Front, whatever. Um, description changes layout to home page well it'll just be home because we don't have a home page okay changes layout to home on front page now we want to add a condition and since this is the front page this is really easy we can key off of the path and we can just say the same way that we would say in blocks in a uh, in brackets here we can just say front so now this is going to say if it's on the front page do something Keep in mind, if you look at these other conditions, you can queue off of all sorts of things like node type, taxonomy, uh, pretty much anything, user role, user page. You can give all sorts of different types of layouts based on user role and stuff like that. That's how awesome this is. So now we can go to reactions here because we have a condition. And the first one you see is blocks and omega. Now, typically, this would just be a way for adding blocks, but they've inserted at the top here, choose omega layout. Now, if we come down to here, we can just simply say home. So now on the front page, we're going to be using the home layout. Let's click save. 
Okay, and let's go to our home page. We refresh, and we're now seeing that we're in fact on the home page. We can verify that by um, let's actually modify this home TPL to say um, home in big letters. And now refresh and it says home in big letters up top here if we went to our other piece of content uh, wherever that is let's go to test page one we're not going to see that home and we're seeing this two column layout so now the home page has a one column layout in fact let's make that even more obvious uh, I don't want this Here we go actually this this is bothering me. The color is bothering me. So let me just say body, background, and let's make this, I don't know. We can make this the level of Tud's purple. Um, and that way it's not so hideous there. Cool. And let's give the main column something so we can see that it is in fact one column here. Let's go to not L page. We want L main. And we can say L main. Let's go to home dot level level slash level hyphen home dot layout dot scss L main. We're gonna make this background white. We're gonna save it, and we're gonna actually just make this. Uh, we're gonna give it a height of let's just say three hundred pixels. I don't know minimum height of three hundred pixels. There's no content in it yet. So we can say minimum height of 300 pixels. And actually, I think we still need to define this level hyphen home in our theme.info file like we did before, if I am correct. Yep. And so we still have this layout styles here to edit, paste in there. And we can just change this to home. And let's just change this to home as well. And under layout, we want to say, of course, it's using the home layout. So layout home is using layouts in home, level home. And now let's clear the cache. We're going to do it in Drush this time. Um, I don't know what's going on with my terminal here. We can just say Drush CC all, enter. It's going to clear the cache, nice and easy. Refresh. OK, so now this is obviously our home page because we have our white background here. And again, if we go to our test page, we have our two column layout, uh, home page, two column layout. So these are layouts with Omega. So now you should have a good understanding about how you can create your own layouts. You can start building out your CSS. You can make them portable. You can change between them based on context. You should be able to do a whole lot. In fact, everything that I've shown here is what I've used to make the uh, current level of touch site. This site was built in Omega 4. This is a home page, uh, one column layout, as you can see here. Uh, and then the inside pages is a two column layout using context and Omega. Cool. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye.